Alright, what's up guys, how are you? Elan Aru, hope everyone is doing great. In today's video, I'm going to share a few secrets about how I edit my videos. Uh, firstly, let me tell you there's no secret uh, when it comes to editing or filmmaking or making any anything creative because creative stuff doesn't have any secret. It comes from within. For example, take a musician. You can't go and ask a musician how does he create beautiful music. It comes from his heart. Now, I can't teach you how to edit a video, but I can show you my workflow, how I process my videos, how I start from the beginning of shooting raw videos and then putting it in my laptop, editing it with the software and then giving you a final product. A musician can tell you there is Sare Gama Pada Nisa on the keyboard, but he can't tell you how to arrange those so that you get some beautiful music out of it. That happens with creativity. You can shoot videos however you want, but Everything depends on how you edit them. How do you place the footage here and there? Make a beautiful video out of it. Also today I thought I'll make this kind of a video because usually when I travel or when I go for a bike trip, it is difficult to make videos like this. And this is one of the most frequently asked questions. You people keep asking me, how do I edit my videos? What software do I use? That is the most frequently asked question. So in today's video, let's talk about how I make videos, how I edit videos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my workplace, my editing desk, my work desk, whatever you want to call it. Everything that you see on this channel, most of it, 99% of it happens from here. Okay, now, when it comes to making vlogs or writing a book or a painting, if that particular thing, if that particular art tells a story, then you really connect with it and you will fall in love with it. It's not the quantity, it's not the length of the video, it's not the thickness of the book. It depends on what it's trying to convey. I know it sounds cliche and a lot of YouTubers, filmmakers, everyone says it, but story is indeed the king. Which brings me to saying, equipment doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter what kind of equipment you use, if there is no story in it, no one is gonna watch your video. There are people who shoot with GoPros and normal phones. I know I'm saying that though I use a very nice camera, there's a Sony Alpha 7 Mark III. The iPhone's camera is no less, but then I personally prefer shooting through a camera because it's more dynamic, having an SD card slot, having a separate battery, and having a dedicated piece of equipment doing that kind of work. You know, this is a personal preference. I can any day use a small camera like this and shoot amazing vlogs. For example, you can yourself see the difference between this particular camera right now and the same scene with the iPhone camera. This is still not a wide angle lens, but it's pretty decent, right? The first reason you can see the audio, it's not as clear as this one. The audio on the iPhone is really good, but not as clear as this, as clear as this. And then when you put a mic on this, again, the equipment is almost big. So why not get a dedicated camera like this one, this one. A decent camera with a good story promises engagement. An amazing camera with a poor story doesn't guarantee engagement. Okay, now let's do justice to the title and let's talk about how I edit my videos rather than talking about what happens before it. Because usually nothing happens before it. It's just raw footage, just capturing whatever I feel I could capture at that moment. And when it comes to making vlogs, there are two types, okay? One is premeditated vlogs and one is going with the flow. Talking about premeditated shots, something like this particular video where I make bullet points and talk about each point let's talk about how equipment doesn't matter second point i have to check the script on, on my phone then what software i use what camera i use how do i edit all this is scripted but you people see me vlogging when i'm traveling outside or when i meet my friends that comes with the flow there's no script for that kali camera auto or bath karte jao that is how proper vlogging is chalo no forget all that let's talk about how I start editing my videos. Finish my vlog, come home, aram se bheto, play with the baby, talk to my wife, talk to my mom, dad. And then in the nights, usually I prefer sitting for editing in the nights because it's very peaceful. I work almost till 2.30, 3 a.m. in the morning. First step is dump all this footage into the laptop. First into the laptop because accessing those files from the laptop instead of using an external hard disk, it's faster. If I use an external hard disk, then I have to carry that external hard disk whenever I go out and if I feel like working outside sometimes. So to eliminate that, I can just carry my laptop and go work anywhere. I just create a folder on the desktop. I give a name to the folder. Say, for example, if that day's vlog was about taking delivery of a bike, I just write taking delivery of Ducati or Abhita Ducati Nile, but just saying. That is the subject of the vlog as well. And then I open the folder, dump all this stuff, and then I create two more folders. Sometimes one, sometimes two. Usually most of my videos will have a motor vlog, most of them. Motor vlog is usually done through a GoPro, which means I have to create a folder called GoPro. Usually it's GOP in short form. Everything shot on this big camera will be just dumped there. And sometimes I use 
the iPhone as well. So that there will be a third folder called iPhone. So the dumping ho gaya, naming ceremony ho gaya. We have all the footage ready. Now the third step, the most important thing of all of editing. I feel this is the main ingredient of any vlog any filmmaking music. The majority of time goes into finding music because I personally am passionate about music. In case you guys don't know, I used to compose music long time ago. That's an added advantage because I know what scene requires what kind of music. It's not always great, but I try to do my best. Now your big question will be, where do I find my music? Directly I search for non-copyrighted music. I also use YouTube audio library. Sometimes I use Epidemic Sounds, Monster Cat, non-copyrighted songs, NCS. I use SoundCloud. Sometimes I get in touch with the SoundCloud producer and ask them if I can use their music. Anyway, there are millions of ways you can find music. The only thing is you have to find the right one. That is the most difficult part when I'm working out in the gym. I keep listening to all the random stuff. If I like some music, I come back home, sit. I search for that particular music and see if it is copyrighted. If it is not, I look for similar music related artists. Do a lot of research to get the perfect music. Okay, now we have all the ingredients required for a nice vlog. We have the onions, we have the spices, we have the condiments, we have the firewood, we have everything. But all this has to be cooked to make a very delicious dish that people can consume. We have the main camera footage, we have the GoPro footage, iPhone footage, we have all the music required. We have to cook it and make a beautiful vlog out of it and present it to you guys. When it comes to cooking, you need fire. Fire is the main thing that cooks everything. Same way when it comes to making vlogs or filmmaking, you need software. There are a lot of softwares to edit video, but my personal favorite is Final Cut Pro. It is not the best software out there. It is amazing. No doubt it can perform really amazing things, but then it's say be professional softwares here. For example, Premiere Pro. The movies that you see, Hollywood movies, Bollywood movies, most of them are edited in Adobe Premiere Pro. Final Cut Pro X, which doesn't come with the MacBook, it costs you almost 23,000 rupees. But my work is dependent on that, so I had to get it. Adobe Premiere Pro CC, which is a little bit complicated, but when you learn it, you can do wonders on that software. Both are pretty expensive softwares. You can get free softwares. If you're having a MacBook, you have iMovie in it, pre-installed. And if you're on Windows, you can get Filmora, or there are a couple of other video editors you can find online. But the main thing about editing is not the software you use, but how you edit, where do you need to cut, where do you need to paste. This is the main thing about editing. If you want me to put it in one sentence, I can say a wonderful movie can be made marvelous, excellent, outstanding if the editing is right. Or maybe say a stupid movie can be made good if the editing is on point. So yes, if story is the king, editing is the queen. <laughs> now let me tell you how my editing process works. Create a library, create an event, create the project. These are all basics. Okay. Once you have your timeline ready, everything takes place here. I start putting footage one by one into the event and I drag it into the timeline and I start editing here. All the cuts, edits, adding music, adding text, color grading, everything happens here on this timeline. Now the secret to editing, like I already told you, you have to know where to cut, where to fasten it, where to slow down, what to remove, what to keep. If you know how to do that, then you can make good videos. Now let me give you an example. Suppose I'm trying to do something and I'm shooting myself. Say I'm editing this video. I can start the video by saying, what's up guys, kaise ho Elana? I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, today I'm gonna start editing my video and I can show this shot. Nice. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's it. More than five, six, seven, eight seconds, it's gonna be boring. No one wants to see that, you wanna skip. So you have to know what is the right place to cut it. But then I have to make your brain understand that I've done the entire editing and it took a lot of time. So for that, what I do is I speed this clip up so that it represents that a lot of work has been done. All right, now it looks nice, right? Let's add some drama to it. How do I do it? Just zoom it in a little bit. These are, all, these are all simple techniques which add to the story. Now there are a million possibilities of what you can do with this clip. You can show from different angles that I'm working. Each effect has a different appeal to the audience. And when you're doing a dramatic movement like this, if you put a sad song, it looks weird. You have to put the right song there. You see this much of thinking, this much of work goes behind making a simple 10 minute vlog or maybe 20 minute vlog and there are some people ready to hit the dislike button the moment I post a video. 
those people are called true haters you earned your name true haters there might not be true lovers but there are true haters that's amazing i keep cutting adding time lapses talking about time lapses time lapses are a great way to show transitions for example i can do this see you guys in the next vlog tata take care bye bye all right what's up guys kaise ho elan aur hope everyone is doing great today is the next day it is not the next day it is the same particular scene it is the same scene same clip i didn't even stop recording but if i have to show that this is the next day i can just put in a transition there a time lapse works best sometimes i use fade out sometimes i use a sunset time lapse a sunrise time lapse once again depends on what that video is all about even b rolls can be added which add to the transition for example if i say i'm starting now and going to a place in between if i don't want to show you the whole process i can just add in a time lapse there but then if i add a sunrise time lapse it looks weird so what i do is i capture some nice b rolls b rolls of me driving the car small small details like my hand on the steering wheel so that you feel that you are a part of the vlog now i'll see you in the car directly at the bnw showroom all right like. You see how beautifully the time lapses the B rolls all this connect the entire story this is what i really love about making vlogs i love to play around with video footage i love to play around with transitions and all this this is a one driving factor behind making vlogs trust me if you want to start making vlogs if you don't like editing don't start vlogging life happens when you start dreaming dreaming about life is not all about sitting in a desk and working but life is not always about sitting at a desk and working on excel sheets but it's about doing what you truly love basically this is where i do all my voice overs because there are a lot of clothes as you can see and there's no reverb if you see some vlogs like this i travel not to escape life but for life not to escape me I try to put some motivation and inspiration. I like to give a message that is the time when I like to come here and do a voice over. All my voice overs you see happens in this room. Chalo now I'm done with the timeline. This is the main part. The whole vlog is done here. Usually it's somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes. 25 minutes of vlog no one is going to watch unless it's like very engaging and if it's like a 1000 km ride or something like that. If it's a typical vlog then I have to make sure it's around 10 minutes, maybe max 12 to 15 minutes. flight has to go when siman kutaru vlogs so now the vlog is almost 25 to 30 minutes long i have to make sure it's around 12 10 minutes to 15 minutes max so what i do is review 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 at least 7 or 8 times second edit may it goes down to 20 third edit may it goes down to 17 fourth edit so on so on so on and i try to get it to 13 to 12 minutes till now finally after cooking everything we have a proper dish to serve abhi iske upar thoda thadka dalne ka now is one more very important part most vloggers don't do this but i prefer doing it color grading i use something called luts luts or look up table in simple terms to tell you what is luts it's something like a filter you have on instagram but for video luts are very easy to use but then they don't give you precise colors for example if i show you a blue color bike and say this bike is amazing blue when i add a lut it turns to be something else all of the trees my clothes everything is perfectly colored but the bike that i'm showing it doesn't look like it looks in real life that is the disadvantage of luts so i'll have to manually do it a little bit the color grading part and even if i'm using luts i try to keep it around 30 to 40 percent nothing more than that for example see the scene this particular drone shot looks so beautiful but then add a lut over it it looks fabulous Now if you add 100% of the lut it looks horrible. So you have to know the right tune. I'm still learning color grading is a separate subject altogether. Lighting is all a different subject. I'm very poor at it as you can see, but I'm still learning. Every vlog is a learning for me. Positive comments are a motivation, negative comments are a learning, hate comments are <laughs> That's where my haters and hate comments belong. Previously when I started vlogging I used to feel a little bit bad but now I'm very happy that there are a few haters who are still watching my vlogs. I'm not saying dislikes. Dislikes are still fine. There are haters like they put stupid comments abusing and all that. I don't know why do they do that. I know they're all sick in their life out of jealousy, negativity. They're already killing themselves with it and I want to spread that to everyone else. So finally I'm happy with the vlog. Color grading also done. Looks good. The last two things I'll be doing is adding text and 
music levels some places the music is really high some songs are like usually ncs songs are like dubstep music so it is like really loud so i have to control the level so that it matches the rest of the vlog rest of my voice few places i have to add text like my instagram handle or something which i forgot to mention on the video such things i add in the last so after this everything is ready all i have to do is put a plate serve it and give it to you which is export i export it in 1080p 60 fps because all of my equipment is capable of doing 4k but then where are the consumers you people are not going to consume 4k video and waste your internet so i keep it at 1080p itna chota sa screen pe i think even 720p is fine but if some people prefer watching it on a big screen 1080p is the perfect as of 2019 anyways this is how i edit my vlogs i hope this vlog helped you guys to learn something from it and you guys know what to do like share comment subscribe see you guys in the next vlog tata take care bye bye Basically when it comes to making vlogs use your creativity you can get as creative as possible and add your own flavor you can take inspiration from other vloggers other creators but then you have to add your own flavor that's what makes your vlog your vlog and so special achcha right aapra babu cheppana ante kooso ani cheptane ante poddu ani adagara aapane aapadu ee camera oka mic ivadam pedda tappu kooso ani andar ge edu vaadthe cheptu konjam nu aapthe andar poi vaadu pan cheskuntaru pothava pothava leda ingelo chaira of sailor ring